Mysteries of the Resurrection, October 20th. Our personal identity is preserved in the resurrection. Though not the same particulars of a matter, or though not the same material substance as would have gone into the grave. Understand, the wondrous works of God are a mystery to man. The spirit uh, and also the character of man is returned to God, uh, there to be preserved. In the resurrection, every man will have his own uh, character. Now notice what the Bible says in the book of Job, chapter 19, verse 25 to 27. It says, For I know that my Redeemer liveth, and that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. And though after my skin worms destroy this body, yet in my flesh I shall see God, whom I shall see for myself, and my eyes shall behold, and not another, though my reins be consumed within me. Understand the word flesh. The word flesh, the meaning is uh, the body itself. Uh, the text says, And though after my skin worms destroy this body, yet in my flesh, in other words, yet in uh, my body itself shall I see God. Uh, uh, the Bible in 1 uh, Corinthians 15 from verse 51 tells us, Be all I show you a mystery, we all shall not sleep, but we all shall be a change. Uh, in a moment, in a twinkling of the eye. Understand that when Christ comes, there is a change that must uh, take place. Uh, but also understand uh, that there is one thing that we can take from this life uh, to uh, the uh, next life. Uh, you might be wondering uh, what our focus uh, should be as we prepare for eternal life. Uh, I would say it is character. The only thing we can take from this life to the next life is our uh, character. Uh, why not let us uh, uh, work on building our characters for Christ? Uh, let us work on building and establishing a Christ-like character uh, so that we uh, can have that strong development, having Christ within us. Why not trust his word today? And why not let us ask of God uh, to develop a Christ-like character within us? Now, that is the power of his word. Why not let's pray? Father in heaven, uh, we thank you so much that you are God and there is none like you. Uh, grant us the strength, O oh God, and you develop a Christ-like character within us. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Remember, my dear friends, the power of the word every day will keep the enemy at bay.